My name is Anzi Hine and I'm 20 years old. I'm going to Savannah College of Art and Design. I am studying writing. I write a lot of mystery stories and suspense. I hated to write. I avoided it. It was awful because it hurt. I had great ideas. I could tell you a story, but actually handwriting something was awful. I avoided it at all costs. I'm Harriet Hine. I'm the mother of Anzi. Probably when she was about four, uh, she started going to occupational therapy for her hands. She had dysgraphia, and it was hard for her to, to color and do things with her fingers. It just hurt. I would have my mom write it for me, or my mom would type it for me, or I would just try to cut down on all my words. I just avoided writing because it hurt. And through the years, she had some difficulty with memory. And when she got to school, uh, they took her out to work with her on the writing and different memory issues. But it wasn't a great situation. They would take her out during the classes that she was good at. I would get in trouble because I didn't finish my writing. And I would get put on the tree. I was stuck walking around the tree however many times they wanted me to while, everybody, and while watching all of my friends play. And I didn't like it. They were mean. And I was having to really help her with her work at night to stay caught up, to get her essays done. She would speak what she wanted and I would write it out for her or type it for her. It was very uh, stressful on both of us. As soon as I started using Dragon, it was like night and day. I could get all of my ideas out onto the paper. I didn't have to worry about cutting down my words. And within several months of being able to speak her words and have the computer uh, type for her, she was just overflowing. You know, just the ideas were coming out, her, um, her confidence was going up. And they, um, it was only within a few months that she looked at her arm and she said HOV lane because the thoughts were just getting right out to, to the computer for her. Once I had Dragon, I realized that, oh, well, I can have all my great stories without the actual physical painful process. So that was the, the beginning of assistive technology for her. And it advanced on from Dragon to Read and Write, Read and Write Gold, which is a program that will do lots of things for her, but primarily it reads um, to you any PDF or internet material and you can change the voice, you can speed it up or slow it down. At the east end, a relief depicting the goddess Roma seated on her weapons balances. Once I realized how even more independent Read and Write made me, it was a pretty amazing feeling that I could, I didn't have to have my mom check all my papers. I could catch all of those little mistakes before I turned it in for a rough draft. I could I didn't have to worry about, oh, well, I misspelled this word, or that embarrassing moment when you wanted to put this word, when you actually put that word, but as far as you're concerned, it's the same thing, but the homophone checker will fix that. So she um, was able to get more out of what she was reading. She was already a good reader, but this really, really helped her comprehension. I was doing 10 times better on any test and any final exam and I could, because I was understanding it more, I was comprehending what those words meant and what they meant as a whole sentence. She did her work completely independently since then, and it's continued even as she started to college now. She's able to use her technology, and I don't, I don't take college classes, she does that. And so it's been very good for both of us. After SCAD, when I graduate, I would love to write books or work in a publishing house, being surrounded by people who love books. Yeah, I think it's amazing that she wants to be a writer now after coming from where she didn't like to write, she um, struggled, and her self-esteem was really getting low before. And I think with the technology, she has really come into herself, and she's independent, and she knows. She knows that her work is her work, and she can be proud of it.